Holy crap, my hands are shaking, guys. I cannot believe this. So I left already the Goodwill, and I loaded my stuff in the truck, and I brought the cart back, and I was like, oh, there's a new rack in there. And, oh my goodness, am I so glad I went and looked. Dudes, it's pouring rain. I'm at Goodwill. Um, I'm supposed to be running a quick errand, so I'm gonna see if I can get in and out of here. I'm gonna set a timer when I hit the door, 10 minutes, and uh, see if I can find anything super good and try and get in and out in 15. Goodwill looks pretty freaky with the windows all fogged out because of the rain. Puddles in my sandals. Well, thanks, man. Somebody could be holding the door for you. <laughs> Kind of trying to move away from like this Jan Karen series here. All right, that'd be a dollar fifty. I'd probably get six bucks for it, but kind of want to get away from those kind of time sucks. This library of unusual facts, forces of nature, and vanishings. Those are probably worth comping. This has got a cool look. What is that? Cancun. Vintage Cancun bag, $2.19. Let's grab that. I bet that's a $20 bill. These are not Keens. No, they want to be. Doc Martin Industrial. Wow, the heel is gone. I mean, really, I don't need anything in here, but Steel toe. I'm not going to grab this because the bottoms are so bad, but if they were made in um, England and not made in China, then they'd probably be worth getting. Yeah, and $9.99 if the heels were decent, but they've obviously, those are really tough heels for somebody to walk all the way through. Bicycles, nothing cool in the bicycle department. More shoes. Nothing in blankets. Well, that's cool, but it's worth picking up. Ooh. Hmm. Boy. Uh. Matt. OG girl. Explore the world. Didn't. Front range flips. Get that and do really well with it. There's a metal trash can for two bucks. That's pretty cool. An old pump jack. Oh, that's broken. $29.99. It's really nice if you can fix it, but I'm not gonna mess with trying to fix it. I could fix it, but I'm not going to fix it. How about a socks hat for a dollar and nine cents? Yes. Soldier Field Bears hat, dollar and nine cents. Sun Protection Zone is the name of that hat. We're gonna use that. Let's go back here and see what's on this. It's an old. That's a blank and it's not single stitch. Whoa, two carts. Starbucks, 2007, but that's pretty plain.
Mickey Mouse trap for 97 cents. I was gonna skip it, but I can't skip it at that price. Set of three, 8.97. So it's all of this stuff. Good grief. I don't have time to mess with all of that. What are these? These are... Oh, this is a puzzle. That's a cool puzzle. I'm starting to feel like the clock's really counting down on me. I'm gonna hear that buzzer any second now and be done. So first I'm gonna find a Jesse, plush Jesse, you see it? Two nineteen, I've never seen one like this. She's really, really badly dirty, man. I bet that's worth something if it weren't that messed up. I'm gonna skip it because I don't feel like cleaning it. Any games I need to grab here that I'm missing? What are you guys seeing that I should pick up? My boys would want that. The farming game, I bet that would find an audience. Another mouse trap for two dollars and seventy-eight cents. I will skip that one because I already have one in my hand. That's SpongeBob, Toys R Us. Shark Boy is another one of those uh, discontinued. Dragon Domino, seventy-eight cents. You guys see what I see back there? This we're not going to do. This sells immediately 50 cents. They're really going down on these, trying to move these things quick, which works well for me. wonder what all that is. Nothing I'm messing with today. Okay, we are about to run out of time. Here's the coffee mug section. Which used to be directly behind me, so I don't know what's behind me. Nick and Pam went to uh, Yellowstone. These look really nice. Got a cool design on the bottom. Oop, that's a bolo item. Yeah, for five bucks, for sure. Five dollars, for sure. We're over 10 minutes on this video. I don't know what's going on with my timer. Holiday stuff, I always like to check this because you find you find weird, cool stuff that you don't. Uh, and uh, not everybody's looking at this thing. 78 cents for Garfield Hallmark. I'm gonna go see if I can find a cart to put all this crap in and uh, grab that opener. And look at the shirts real quick because I'm a fool to think I can get in and out of here quickly. Ooh, there is a shopping cart. Here's what's cool about this trip, and it's not normally true of Goodwill, is that I haven't spent more than like $3 on anything. Even a cardboard Luke Skywalker cutout, 1993. Ursher. Sure. So we're like 15 minutes later, I'm still in here. But look what I found little church doesn't seem to have any damage on it it's two dollars and 19 cents it's 1989 department 56. Probably broken. Bolo. it's taped shut so i don't know if it's what condition it is in there but these are 
thirty, forty dollars. Uh, and this one's two dollars and eighteen cents. Then I found these books, the old cartoon style ones. I'm just taking because they're fifty cents a piece, and I'm going to take a shot on them. And then the Japanese language ones didn't scan you know, on eBay, so I'm going to do some more research. But I bet I do pretty well on them. More things, real quick. This battery is like a battery for a camcorder. It doesn't. There's none listed other than just the charger. And then these two things that are super cheap and oh my goodness, this is maybe one of my favorite things I found at the thrift store in a long time is this coaster set that makes a brain is 97 cents and Cooties um, game is 78 cents. And even if it's not on there, they're good. Holy crap, my hands are shaking, guys. I cannot believe this. So I left already the Goodwill and I loaded my stuff in the truck and I brought the cart back and I was like, oh, there's a new rack in there. And oh my goodness, am I so glad I went and looked. Dune paperbacks. This one, the Dune Encyclopedia. I'll put some comps up. I haven't comped the rest of them yet. I'm going to grab these. I'm and so excited. if you're unaware, this is a grail of a find. Holy grail. What? He said they've already got one. Oh yes, it's very nice. I told him we already got one. <laughs> it's the rarest Dune book. It's one of the rarest paperback books there is. And it, I listed that already at $220. So the rest of these Dune books are, uh, the big one on the bottom is like $12, $14. The other three I'm gonna list as a lot, and they aren't first presses or anything, so they're nothing super special, but I'll probably get $30 for those uh, vintage paperback dunes. Okay, so this is kind of a weird angle. Um, you're sitting on top of the minivan at the moment as my tripod uh, went to Goodwill. You saw that, you saw what I picked up at the very end, which was a couple of uh, dune books and a holy grail of all paperback books, the Dune Encyclopedia. Got a handful of other things. I've done some comps on them. I'm gonna unload them so that I can take them inside and process them. But I wanted to show them to you first. Not as good as I had hoped. This is 1989 washed out to where you can't read it. Department 56 tends to be good, 1989. But this, uh, I think it's Dixon, Dickinson. Dickinson Village Notting Hill Church. Not a lot of money. I only paid $2.19 for it. Comes for like 20 bucks. Jar openers, Black & Decker. These I pick up, I mean, you've seen me sell them on the channel before. Um, I pick them up for three or $4 uh, used. This one was $5, new in the package. Somebody got it for Todd and Annette. Grandpa got it for Todd and Annette. Um, they never took it out of the package. Donated to Goodwill. Four thirty nine dollars Comps for like 40 bucks plus shipping. Mousetrap. Oddly enough, for $0.97. Cents. Two hours later. $0.97 cents for this, or I wouldn't have picked it up. Milbron, if this has all the cards in it, it's $20. I paid $0.48, cents, which is the cheapest thing I've ever seen at a Goodwill locally in the last probably 10 years. Uh, cooties. Cooties has a lot of parts. People are always missing parts. These sell incomplete reasonably well, but they, uh, this is, if this is complete, it's probably around $20 shipped. I paid 78 cents. Garfield Hallmark Ornament, I paid 78 cents. And uh, I didn't catch a year on it. People buy these, they do reasonably well. It's probably, I didn't comp it. I'm gonna suspect $10 plus shipping. Dragon Dominoes that were 78 cents as well. Somebody was on a 78 cent kick and found a bunch of vintage stuff that I wanted to buy. This comps out at about 20, $25 plus shipping. It's Geek, Think Geek is the name brand on it. It was 97 cents and it is a beaker or it's a coaster set that when you take the when you take the coasters apart, they're different fragments of a brain. Um, really innovative, weird piece. I like it a lot. 
Bolo crepe maker. I didn't open this one yet, but I paid two dollars and nineteen cents. It comps for forty plus shipping. Cardboard cutout of the Joker, Mark Hamill playing some other character that you may have heard of. Um, 1993 All Rights Reserved, Luke Skywalker, number 110. I don't know how old this is. I mean, it says 93 on it. It feels vintage. It's complete. It's not in fantastic condition, but I have a lot of cardboard cutouts. So if it doesn't sell for a lot, I'll probably hang on to it. Um, it was $2, $1.99. I couldn't believe it. I thought for sure it would be 10 bucks and I was gonna consider buying it at that price. But it was two bucks, so there wasn't even any consideration needed. Cancun, just a really cool vintage duffel. I've been doing reasonably well with duffels since people have started traveling again. You saw these hats already, at least two of them. Soldier Field, socks, Nike. Um, and you didn't see, I don't think you saw this uh, OC Caps Ford Uff Dring. I suspect it's breast cancer awareness. Maybe it's not. Nope, it's just a pink Ford hat. And Uff Dring is our local Ford dealer. So um, that detracts more than it adds, but it was a dollar and it's a Ford hat. And I thought it would be breast cancer awareness because it's pink. This CD was 99 cents, and that's not going to be an easy one to find, I suspect. So I picked it up on a whim. These books are cool. I'll put some comps up over my face. I don't know if they're worth anything at all. But they're cool, and they're old. So there's two of this uh, Grim, Grimmy. I remember he had a cartoon when I was little and Mr. Magoo. So hopefully those are worth something. I only paid 50 cents a piece and I suspect if they're not worth three, four, five dollars plus shipping a piece that I can lot them up and I'm in them for three dollars. I bet I can get 15 for the lot. These were books that were sitting on the shelf, obviously not in English. And I tried scanning the barcodes and the barcodes didn't come up. And that's why I bought them. Because um, scanners, Amazon book scanners are going to go, boop, nope, doesn't come up. Boop, nope, doesn't come up. I don't care. Uh, and move on to other things. Uh, most people aren't going to take the time to look this up in English to see if it's worth something. I wasn't either. But I thought I can take it home and figure out what it, how, figure out what it is. And I can comp it from there, but I'm only a dollar in. Starbucks mug, 2007. It was 99 cents. Uh, it's probably worth like 12 bucks. Last thing is this little battery pack. I comped the battery pack, and there weren't any battery packs with the battery with it. Uh, this was $2.19. Who knows whether or not it takes a charge, whether or not it holds a charge. It's from Radio Shack, so it's January 1988. It's dated. I figured it's worth a shot for $2.19. I suspect I'll get more than that even if I just list it without testing it. Um, it's, I think it's probably to a camcorder, but I'll run some comps and find out. So I spent $40 today, thereabouts, and I expect to list the stuff for this much money. It's a fun thing to do being a full-time reseller. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.